be making basics. What's going on YouTube beat making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make beats on Logic Pro 10. This is specifically for somebody who's brand new. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now this is Logic Pro 10. If you're brand new to the software, um, basically we have a couple different ways for you to start creating tracks. It's the first thing you're going to see. So we have a software instrument track we can create, audio tracks, a drummer track, external MIDI track, guitar or bass, okay? Now, most of the time when you're making beats um, on Logic Pro 10, you're gonna be using this software instrument. So what you'll do is click on that, and then under instrument right here, you have a lot of different sound banks you can choose from. So we have a default patch, which is gonna give, give you access to like your default sounds, and then we have all these other ones. Let's go ahead just to start this off, start with this default patch. I'm gonna push create, I'm gonna open this up, all right? Now, if you look over here, we have a couple different things. This right here is called your workspace window, all right? And uh, pretty much, if you look at the very top of the um, screen here, we have these different bu buttons which coordinate with uh, different windows that can open up. So these four are windows, and then these, this is three, and then that's four too. So these are all windows. So let's start at the very top left. This right here, this first one is going to be your library. This is where all your default sounds are. And you can pretty much go through here and, you know, select sounds based on the folders here that you see. So piano, you got all the different pianos, orchestra or orchestral, you have all those. You can also search for sounds, like I can say um, horns. All right, and you got all the horns here. All right, um, let's just keep on going here. Next thing here, this is called your inspector window. This is basically, a, this uh, gives you a snapshot of one track, whatever track you're on, um, on a vertical uh, length or measure here. So you can come over here and, you know, turn up or down the track, pan it left or right, add effects, different things like that when the inspector window is here. This makes it quick and super simple when it comes to editing, if you click that. This guy right here, um, this is your help button, and pretty much anything you scroll over, it's gonna tell you what it is, give you a little bit of information on it. Like I told you before, this area is the workspace window. And then you're just gonna hover over things. So this is gonna be a great way to get started just by clicking this, all right? This is gonna be uh, for our tools, okay? So we have different tools you can use here when it comes to editing and different things like that. So you click that, that's gonna give you access to some of your tools, okay? Keep on going down uh, here. Um, this is going to be giving you some controls over certain things over the sounds. Um, so like push musical typing, which is command K. I can change the, you know, the sound here. All right, so that's just something you could do as far as like manipulating sounds slightly. Um, this is where right here is going to be our mixer window. So, you know, once you really start getting, you know, you building your beat out, this is where you can click this button. This is where you're going to be able to start mixing all your levels. This is our editor. Um, this is where you're going to be able to, you know, make beats in the piano roll. So you can come over here, hold down uh, command. And um, we also have other different ways to make and create music and edit as well. So we have this score option. If you're super, super, super um, in depth with music theory, you can actually come in here and draw in your notes uh, on the after, actual key uh, on the staff here, okay? We're probably not gonna ever use that. Most of us are not advanced enough to actually compose music just by writing it on you know, sheet music. So we're going to be using the piano roll and then also the step sequencer. Step, sequ se step sequencer is pretty dope. You can actually just like step notes in. This is good for like drum patterns and also melodies. Um, but yeah, that's going to be some of the overview of some of this stuff here. We also have some stuff on the um, right side here. This is like your events. So say if you want to come over here and find files on your computer, you can do so with this option. Go to all files. This is all your files on your computer. This one right here is called your um, your loops. Okay, this is your Apple Loops royalty free loop pack that comes um, in Logic. So you have all these. You can search by instrument. You know what I'm saying? You can search by genre. All right, and descriptors. All right, so that's pretty good. Um, 
this right here you can come over here and type some notes in um, lower the base so this is cool like say if you're working with another you know producer engineer or you know professional um, and they have logic as well you can send a session and they can open up the notes and you know figure out what's going on so anyway these are just different things as a markers tempo signatures you can come in here and get in depth with you know making adjustments and stuff um, right here is your transport window the reason why it was called transport area um, or not window transport area is because it's gonna you know basically take what this is called the, the playhead and move it around so I can push that right there push play it's gonna play stop you know what I'm saying that's where you do all that and then also right here you have your like your BPM and stuff like that you know so let's go ahead and actually get into the beat making um, within Logic Pro 10 like kind of how that process would look so you start to get started software instrument track you can start with a default patch a lot of people are going to start off with the melody so let's just go ahead and start with that we'll go ahead and open up our library here and I'll go over here to our synthesizer and let's just check out a bell start off with this right here So I'm gonna start off with something simple like that. Put this loop on here and just push record. And if you can, you can up and you know lower the uh, BPM like this. All right, cool. So when you lay down your melody, I just used the musical typer to do that. So say if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, if you push Command K. This will pull up and you can use the you know your keyboard to do or your um, laptop or desktop to make the beat but um after you lay down a melody or whatever all you're gonna do is just double click it and it's gonna pull up the piano roll and you can come in here and edit it so i can click in here within the grid highlight everything and then over here you can quantize it um so there's different metrics here pretty much a good rule of thumb the more um, complex the pattern the higher the quant the the, the note um, the more basic, the lower the note, if, if you will. So these all represent different type of notes, whole notes, half notes, four quarter notes, eighth notes, 16th notes, 32nd notes, 64th notes. But anyway, uh, most of the time you're gonna be using either one over 16 or one over eight. Let's click that and it locks it in place. We'll speed this up a little bit all right so now that we have at least one melody part going let's go ahead and start with our drums we're going to go ahead and create another software instrument track now we can come over here with these drums they have drum kits right here we've got electronic uh, kits as, as well you can choose from let's just get this guy right here Let's find another one. This one is not. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a pattern. I'm start with this clap. As you can kind of hear here, this clap is coming in super low. But it's okay. We can come over here and just turn the velocity up like that. Let's keep on working on this drum pattern. Do a default patch. Come back over here to the drums. Come back over here. You can also highlight it, copy it, Command C, use this playhead, Command V to paste it. You feel me? So 
So it's the basics, but you pretty much can kind of see how you would keep on building the beat. Now, as you can kind of hear here, these drum sounds are not really hitting the way they need to. And what you could do is you could use what we call a quick sampler to drag and drop your own drum sounds in. So what you'll do is you'll create a new software instrument track under instrument, scroll midway down to quick sampler, stereo, and then pretty much you can use this to drag and drop sounds um, into your production. So just click on this quick sampler and then here we go. I'm gonna close this, close this right here. And um, you can get sounds from anywhere. But let's just look at the Apple loops here. You can actually come to instrument, go to kits, and then find like a dope kit that you like. So let's say we like that. Drag it in here like so. And then I can go to this slice option and I can grab some of these, um, these hits. So let's just check that out now. And if you already have like your sounds lined up here, you can just double the track by pushing command D. So look y'all, this is the basics, man. There's a lot more to this, but this will help you get started as far as cooking up in Logic Pro 10. If you wanna learn more, make sure you head over to our website, beatmakingbasics.com. We have full video courses you can grab that will show you the beat making process from start to finish, as well as show you how to make your own melodies, your own drum kit, uh, excuse me, your own drum patterns, and a whole lot of other different things, okay? You also can check out this site, um, YouTube's, uh, my YouTube channel as well because we have hundreds of videos on here. Um, anyway, appreciate y'all watching and I will see you on the next video.